Hello, everyone. Welcome to Math 6. This is the last lesson of Topic 7, Lesson 7-8. Find volume with fractional edge lengths is our last lesson. In this lesson, we'll be able to find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths. Let's start with solve and discuss it. A rectangular prism has the dimensions shown. What is the volume of this rectangular prism? Obviously, this is a rectangular prism because why? The bases have a shape of a rectangular shape, right? And then we have four faces on each side. Um, look at the dimensions. The height is two inches, and then the base have one and a half inches per side. So it's a square. You can see that it's a square. Um, yeah, so how can you figure out the, the volume of this rectangular prism? It's not a surface area, but how do you figure out the volume? The volume equation is the, the length times width times the height. Okay, if you didn't know that, you're gonna multiply all the dimensions that you see. So if you multiply 1.5 1, 1 times 1.5, you get the area of this uh, base, right? And then if you multiply by the height, that means you include all the volume inside. We're not just getting the area of the surface, we're including all the, the bases until the height, okay? So we're gonna multiply length times width, in this case, it's a square, so side times side times the height. So one and one half square times two inches. So 1.5 inches square times two inches would be cubic inches, right? So 1.5 times 1.5 is um, 2.25 or 9 over 4 inches square times 2 would be uh, 4.5, right? So the volume will have cubic dimensions, inches uh, inches cube is uh, the correct dimension for the correct measurement for this volume. So how might filling the rectangular prism with layers of half inch cubes help you find the volume? So think about the volume. It's not just the area, it's, it's the whole thing to fill, fill up the entire prism, okay? So focus on math practices. You know how to use a formula volume equals length times width times height to find the volume of a rectangular prism. How might you use the formula to find the volume of the prism above? We already did that, right? So explain it. We can substitute 1.5 or L and W and two for H in the formula, and then multiply to find the volume. Okay, so we're gonna think about how we can find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths. Example one. Find the volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths. So your edge lengths might not always be a whole number. So you need to know how to multiply fractions when you have fractional edge lengths. So the volume is length times width times height. So you're just gonna multiply all three of them. And your measurement should be inches times inches times inches. So that's a cubic inches. Okay, so if you think about each cube, the volume of each cube 
of uh, having half inches as a side. That's half inches times half inches times half inches. Okay, that's gonna be um, 0 0.5 cube as well. And half times half times half is one eight. Two times two times two is eight, right? Um, and in decimal is 0 0.125. So that cube, how many of that cube do you have? You have three cubes here and then five cubes on the bottom each side. So five times five is 25 times three is 75. So you can multiply 0 0.125 by 75. This is just one example of how to get a volume or you can just use the volume equation. This times that times that, and that might be um, easier and faster. So, if you use the volume equation, length times width times height, you're going to multiply 2.5 times 2.5 times 1.5 because half 1 over 2 is 0 0.5. Okay. And 2.5 times 2.5 is 5525, 50. So six to five, two decimal places, that's 6.25 times up by 1.5. 6.25 times 1.5 is 2512, 3, 3, 1, 6, 2, 5, and then 7, 3, 9, and 3 decimal places, 9.375 inches cube. So just straight up multiply. And 3 over 8 is 0 0.375. And so that's the same answer. So you can go either way. So let's look at try question. It wants you to, it's going to ask you to um, imagine this whole volume with cubic, uh, with little cubes that are half inches long. So if you have half inches here, another half, another half, it's going to give you one and a half inches. So you have three cubes. And then here, half inches, half inches, half inches, that's also three cubes. And then half, 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 that's one, two, and 0.5 inches, right? So together, you have five cubes of half inches, OK? So, so half the volume of um, half inches cube would be like we uh, just figured out is going to be one eighth or zero point one two five. So volume of half inches cube is one over eight inches cube or 0 0.125 cubic inches, okay? So if you multiply three times three, so volume, so if you multiply how many cubes you have of these, three times three, nine times five is 45, and you multiply 45 times 0 0.125, that's your answer. Okay, so that's our strategy we're doing here. So find the volume of this rectangular prism built from half inch cubes. Okay, even though you will not use this method later um, and you'll just use the volume equation like we did here, um, you still need to know how this works. It's helpful for you to understand why we use volume equation. Okay, so try it. Um, let's do it by let's do it together. The bottom layer has how many cubes? Five times three, 15 cubes. Okay, the prism is how many cubes high? Three cubes high. There are a total of how many cubes? 45 cubes in the prism. Each cube has a volume of one eighth inches cube or 0 0.125. Okay, so the volume of the prism is 45 times 1 eighth, which is equal to 5 and 5 eighths. 
or if you are using decimals, 0 0.125, 45 times 0 0.125, and that's equal to um, 5.625, okay. So convince me, suppose that the length of the rectangular prism and the try it were three half inches instead of two half inches. How many cubes would there be in the prism? What would be the volume of the prism? So look at, look at this prism. Instead of two half over here, what if you have three half? That means how many more cubes do you have of half inches? Two more, you just have two more cubes over here. And that means you have seven cubes. Let me change my, so this is convinced me two more uh, of half cubes. So that means you have seven cubes here instead of five cubes. And then that would change your volume of the prism because you don't have 45 cubes in total, but seven times three is 21 for the bottom layer and it's three cubes high. So in total, you would have 63 cubes total. So 63, times one eighth is um, 7.875 or yeah, seven, seven and seven over eight. Okay, so the volume changes, it, it increases. Okay. So you need to know that the cube, the number of cubes are gonna change and the volume is also gonna change. All right, let's look at example two. Use a formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism. Sean bought the fish tank. Sean, hi Sean. What's the volume of Sean's fish tank? We got the length here, the width here, and the height over here. So using the volume formula, you just multiply the length times width times height. And so if you have three and one third times one, it's just three and one third. Three and one third times one and one and one over three. So that's gonna be three and one third. And make that as improper fraction. That's 10 over three times four over three. So that's 40 over three. And that's gonna be four and four over nine feet squared. Okay, example three, use a formula to find the volume of a cube. What if all the dimensions are the same? Ida has a ring box in the shape of a cube. What's the volume of Ida's ring box? Because the cube is a rectangular prism, its volume is also the product of its length, width, and height, but all length, width, and height are gonna be equal. So we're just gonna cube them, 2.5, cube so which means 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5 will be your volume so you can change that to improper fraction and 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 and then change that to a mixed number or you can multiply 2.5 three times 2.5 times 2.5 times 2.5 and then um you will get 15.625 inches square in decimal. All right, so let's look at try it. See if you can solve for the volume for parts A and B by yourself using the volume equation. Come back when you're ready for answers. All right, guys, are you ready? Look at part A. 8.5, um, no, 2.8 is the width, 3.2 is the length, 4.5 is the height. So use the volume equation, WHL, multiply all of them, okay? 2.8 times um, 4.5 times 3.2, you should be able to get 40.32 cubic centimeter. Check your answers. All right, part B, 
this is this is a cube where all the sides are equal. So the volume of the cube is side cube, four and one half cube, which means four point five cube. So either way, if you have fractions, um, that's fine. If you have decimals, that's also fine. But if you got fraction, you will have seven to nine over eight, or uh, 91 and 1 eighth cubic feet. If you got decimals, you should have 91.125 cubic feet. Okay, so either way is fine. You need, you just have to have a specific answer. All right, did you get all of them right? If you did, you got this volume problem. Awesome, let's summarize our lesson. You can find volume of a rectangular prism with fractional edge lengths by determining the number of same size cubes with unit fraction edge lengths needed to completely fill the prism. This is why the volume equation works. So if you already know the volume equation, now you can just use the volume equation to figure out the volume, okay? So apply a formula to figure out the volume. All right, guys, that was the last lesson of topic seven, finding volume with fractional edge lengths. Um, if you have any other questions about this lesson or the entire topic, feel free to ask Ms. King. Um, I'm gonna be there in class or doing tutorial block, but we're done with topic seven. So I'll see you guys again in the next topic. Bye, great job.